This is News Trail, your daily dose. Hi, thanks for connecting with News Trail this Wednesday, 5th of May 2021. I am Aditola Kayode. You're welcome. President Muhammadu Buhari has yet again called for an end to what he described as the cycle of violence in Benue and Anambra states in the name of revenge. He said it would lead to no winners, only losers. The president also reiterated his determination to stem in the rising speed of insecurity in the country. He decried the heightened situation at a security meeting, the second in one week with service chiefs and some members of his cabinet, including Vice President Yemio Shibajo. President Buhari says Nigeria will certainly overcome all the current security problems and defeat the forces of evil ravaging the nooks and cranny of the country with the cooperation of everyone. The Lagos State government has established a prima facie case against Nollywood actor Olare Waju Mayinka, popularly known as Babai Jesha, for sexually assaulting a minor, amongst other crimes. He may face life imprisonment. In the statement, Commissioner for Justice and Attorney General Muyo Soro Nibanjo, SEN, highlighted the State Directorate of Public Prosecutions recommended five charges after due consideration of the case file facts. The charges include seven years imprisonment for indecent treatment of a child child, defilement punishable by life imprisonment, attempted sexual assault for 10 years, and sexual assault punishable by 3 years. The testman was recently caught on tape assaulting a minor and later confessing to the crime and pleading for forgiveness. Algerian Riyad Mahrez sealed Manchester City's first Champions League final as they overcame Paris Saint Germain at Etihad Stadium to secure a commanding victory over two legs. PSG suffered a serious blow before kickoff when world class forward Kylian Mbappe was restricted to the bench because of injury. City may face either Chelsea or Real Madrid in Istanbul on May 29. The United States is set to roll out vaccine shots for 12 to 15 year olds that get up to 70% adults vaccinated before July 4. This is part of President Joe Biden's new goal, including having 160 million adults fully vaccinated by Independence Day. The target is well within reach as 105 million have already had COVID-19 jabs and U.S. is vaccinating nearly a million adults per day. But the vaccination rate is half of what it was just three weeks ago. Mr. Biden said his administration is working to win over doubters about the shots. And that's it on Israel for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel at Data La Coyote. And always do good. It will only come back to you. Tomorrow is another day. Make it a date with News Trail. Ciao.